Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I'll be talking about how a ton of the Washington Commanders roster will be free agents in 2024 but how they're going to have a lot of cap space to potentially fix that issue. If you guys are new, subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell as well. All those things help out a ton. So let's get right into it. So shout out Mark Taylor and George Carmi right here for the visuals right here. They you know, kind of started this discussion talking about what well, Mark talked about how the commanders are going to have $80 million in cap space for the new owners to use in 2024, which, hey, that is a great, that's great news. But George Carmi acknowledged that, but then went into, okay, let's look at all the free agents they're going to have. And we're going to talk about that and just, you know, the situation they're going to be in. You look at the free agents, Kendall Fuller, Chase Young, Jacoby Brissett, Cody Barton, Cornelius Lucas, Montez Sweat, Reeves, Sly, Obada, uh, Kalik Hudson, Abdul Anderson. You know, you guys can see some others, some notable other notable names: Gibson, Cameron Curl, Sadiq Charles, James Smith Williams, and Casey Twill. So a lot of you know key contributors. Like let's, I mean, let's go over the key contributors. You got Cameron Curl. I'm not gonna put Sadiq Charles in there because he's not yet, but he could be if he has a good year. Antonio Gibson. That's two right there, and then. You know, Jeremy Rees, you can count him there as one. Montez Sweat, uh, and then Chase Young, Kendall Floyd. That's six key contributors and some really good rotational players as well with James Smith-Williams and Casey Tuil. So, like, it's a lot of guys that are going to potentially be gone. So they're going to have $80 million to kind of make that work. But, again, you know, they, they have a lot of free agents. Let's talk about some of the guys that just right away, you know, they don't really need to come back. Like, Jacoby Brissett. I like the guy, and I think he's going to be a good backup for us. I just don't really see the need. It, like, if Hal has a good year, then you don't need Jacoby Brissett. And if he doesn't have a good year, just it's going to be a total, re, not rebuild, but total new front office. It's going to be a total revamp. That's the better word. So he's not going to be there. Cody Barton, question mark. Cornelius Lucas, I think we're probably going to have a new staff, so I could see him being on. And I think Montez Sweat slash Chase Young one of them will be back, and then maybe the other, if both have good years, I could see one getting a contract extension and the other getting a franchise tag. Jeremy Reeves, I think, will be back. And Klee Hudson, he's a question mark. Larson, probably not. Jonathan Williams, who knows? Gibson, I don't know. That's a big, big question mark. Cameron Crow, I hope so. And he could get a deal done soon, man. He could get a deal done and uh, K Casey Tool and James Smith wins. I think one of them will be back. One of them won't because we did draft KJ Henry and Andre Jones. So I think one of them is going to come back. Same thing with FA Obato. One of those three, maybe two out of those three will be back. So yeah, they're going to have a lot of cap space and you know, they're going to have some, you know, yeah, let's, let's get into it. So $80 million. I'm trying to X out of this. They'll have $80 million in cap space, just around that 79 million. And, you know, some of these guys won't be on the roster, like Andrew Norwell. So realistically, they'll probably be more at like 80, 81, 82 million dollars. But if, let's say, they extend Cam Curl or someone else in this roster, it might go down. So let's say around, assuming it'll be around seven, we'll go 80 million because some people will free up, like Andrew Norwell. And again, some of these guys that are under contract, like these guys right here will probably not be on the roster like uh, Drew White, Drew, uh, DJ Sturgis, Sample, Pryor, Demorat, Bowens, like all these guys will probably, some of those, at least some of those guys won't be on the roster. So, you know, some of that money will be saved, but probably around $80 million in cap space. So let's go back to that free agent list. You know, Kendall Fuller, I don't know if he's going to be back, honestly. New regime, and if, if Benjamin's, if the new corners look good, in Quan Martin Forbes, I don't think he's coming back. Or if he is, it's going to be a cheaper deal as a rotational guy. And then Chase Young and Montez Sweat, those are the big question marks. You know, I think a franchise tag is around $19 million. So that would be a full $19 million cap hit, and you'd be down to $60 million in cap space just like that. But let's say you extended Chase Young, and I don't, that's just the thing. Like, if he has a really good year, he could get paid up to $25 million a year. But let's say, he has a really solid year, and he's going to get around $20 million a year. That cap hit will probably be around $10, $11 million for the first year, maybe like $10 million. And so that would be you go from $80 million to $70 million. 
and then Jacoby Brissett, let's say, is gone. Cody Barton is a question mark. Like, if they get the guys they need to, so let's say, again, Chase Young goes from, you go from 80 to 70 with him, and let's say the same thing with Montez Sweat. That's like a big question mark, but let's just say it happens down to 60, and then Cam Curl slash Jeremy Reeves. I think it'll be around 10 as well for the two of those. Reeves will probably be like a two, three million dollar cap hit for like, you know, a shorter term deal. And then Cam Curl will probably be like seven or eight. But again, the cap hits are different when, than what they're actually making. Like I think Cam Curl is gonna make more than uh seven, eight million dollars. And I think I thought Curtis Samuel, I like Curtis Samuel should be a free agent as well. So that's another guy. Uh, that will be a free agent. But let me go back. So Chase Young brings you down to 70. Montez Sweat brings you down to 60. And then Cam Curl and Jeremy Reeves brings you down to 50. And then you got all these other guys to figure out. Gibson, like they'll probably be able to go in with like $30 million in cap space, which is still a lot. But, you know, they, they got to figure out quarterback. Like if Hal is that guy, then that's going to be make it much, much, much easier on them that uh you know in terms of cap space but if he's not that guy and they want to go after a you know new guy or like a new quarterback that could be something to watch okay so they say curtis samuels under contract but i don't think so i'm trying to think because he signed a three-year contract it was ron's first year right so 2020 or was it his i'm trying to think no it wasn't his first year so it was his second year, so 2021, 2022, and this is going to be his third year. But okay, I think they have void years in there, so he might technically be under contract, but like zero, like look at his salary, zero base salary. Same thing with Norwell. So I don't know. He's going to be a free agent basically, so they're going to have to figure that out. I'm trying to see if there's any other guys that are like that. Don't think so. So. That is something they're going to have to figure out. Curtis Samuel, if Deion, that's another add him to the list. If he plays well this year, or if Deami Brown plays well this year, then maybe you don't have to bring back Curtis Samuel. Or if Jahan plays well and Deami plays well, maybe you don't have to bring back Curtis Samuel. You can just get another rotational receiver. You can draft someone. I like Curtis Samuel, but again, that's just something to consider. But they have a lot of, you know, decisions that need to be made i mean a lot of their core is still going to be there you know jonathan allen terry mclaurin deron Payne, uh jahan dotson forbes and a lot of guys but a lot of other guys are gonna be gone or not gone but that they're gonna have to consider if they're gonna bring him back or not and montez sweat chase young curtis samuel kendall fuller cam Cur like a lot of really key contributors like seven starters so they're going to have to figure it out. They're not going to probably bring back the seven starters back. Like I would probably say best case scenario is five if we think about it. Like Curl will probably be back. I'm not going to count Sadiq Charles in this because, yeah, he's technically a starter, but they can fill anyone in. And like they can get a guy that's not good off the streets for, you know, that's better than him for like a million. So I'm not counting him as a starter. Uh, Gibson is like, I'm, I'll count him as a starter kind of. I don't know if he'll be back. That's a question mark. And then you go to Montez Sweat slash Chase Young. I think one of those guys will be back for sure. It's tough. It's tough. They've got a lot of, you know, we got a lot of key contributors slash starters. Jeremy Reeves, I think he'll be back. Yeah, it's going to be tough because, you know, they have a lot of money, but, you know, you don't want to commit so much money to the future, especially on the D-line when you already have Drawn Payne and Jonathan Allen. So, I would probably pay one of these guys and then franchise tag the other guy. They'll make 19 million guaranteed. And then you can work on a trade during the off season and you can probably get like, a, if they both these guys play well, you can probably get a decent amount for one of them in a trade, even with them on the franchise tag. I really think that would work. So that is something that the commanders need to consider doing. Again, try to keep these guys under control so that you can get assets out of them. So I think that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, man, it feels good to have a new ownership group and maybe that'll play into how much they spend and you know how much money they have and if they extend some of these guys before training camp starts. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace.